But yeah, this is officially now a parts car. It ain't coming back from this. Hey everybody, welcome back to Freedom One Garage. We are back on the Fury 3. Uh, just pulled the headliner, the donor headliner out of the old car. And now we're going to get serious. We're going to take some of this A-pillar metal. This entire, I'm calling it the eyebrow piece of the roof skin. And the lip here. And the other side of the A-pillar. Because on our car, we've got right here, 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 here. A lot of a lot of here's uh, but on the donor car this metal is perfect in the places where we need it to be so the plan is with the death wheel just the outer skin chop there chop across zip 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 come down here and chop down here and then take just the outer skin off. There's two layers here. There's an inside layer and an outside layer. So that is the plan. Uh, the first thing we need to do is clean up some more of this sealant and stuff from the windshield so we can see exactly what we're dealing with for spot welds. And we can make a plan on how we're going to attack them. So. Tool of choice for that, right angle grinder, and two deadly wheels. One is a cup wheel with heavy duty bristles. The other is a circular wheel with heavy duty bristles. Um, we're gonna start with the cup first because we'll get in those corners, and then we'll see how that goes. That actually did a really good job cleaning this up. Uh, so I went ahead and, because eventually we're going to have to do some uh, body work on this and weld to this. So I just came back in with it and went across the whole eyebrow here, inside and outside, and, and uh, cleaned it up real nice. Uh, now the next step is, I've already started here. If you look here, each one of these looks like a little hot spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, a gazillion that way. Each one of these is a pinch weld. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a 5 16 drill bit and I'm drilling just through the top layer of the pinched metal. I've done this outside and now I'm working across the top of the eyebrow here. And then I take a small punch and you wedge it in between the two layers of metal and just enough to break whatever's left of that pinch weld. Then once we get all those pinch welds separated, it'll be a lot easier to come in and cut 
and then peel this off, peel the sheet off without really prying on it and bending it and mangling it up. Hopefully, that's hopefully. off now okay I got it all beat apart uh, separated on the outside to here all across there you can see it's popped apart it's okay we have some minor bends and stuff from where I had to get the chisel in there we can dolly all that out that's no big deal um, now I've got us marked with the Sharpie where we're going to cut. What I'm using is this tab on this A-pillar panel. Uh, that's going to be, should be the same piece of metal, the same stamp piece of metal on both cars. We're going up 13 and a half inches from there. I'm going to cut this right here. We're, and on the eyebrow, we're two inches in. And then all the way across following the the arc of the eyebrow and then on the very end we put a straight edge here so we'll cut through that initial skin all the way across over to there we'll go zip here and on the other side we'll go zip there and then we should be able to pop just this little piece here off I think that's I think that's how it's supposed to go. If it goes that way, you know, I'm I'm gonna give her fifty percent. I'm we're, we got a one in two chance. That's pretty good odds. So let's get the death wheel out and there's no turning back now. Done. Oh. We are attached down here yet. Joint over here. 
There you have it. All that work for this. There is some extra leading. You know, back in the 60s and early 70s, they were still using lead in some of their body work. So, but this end over here had a little bit of extra leading in it. And uh, so it was holding on. Um, that's the piece we needed. Not too bad. Uh, this lead joint here on both sides. Here, I'll come get you. So, really not too bad. I had it marked to cut 13 and a half up from this notch here, but this leaded joint where the two pieces come together, um, I mean, look at that. That's It's got a lot of buildup, a lot of old school body work going on there. We, that's not gonna come apart as a result. What we'll do is it'll be a little extra work for us, but we'll take a section of this lower um, outer A-pillar windshield frame here. It's the same dimensions. I measured it all up, and then we'll just slide it up to meet up with our, uh, our eyebrow piece. We got our replacement piece out. It's in good condition, and hey, Pretty pleased about that. Um, so, I'm gonna head in, it's about 9.30. Manana sometime, or this weekend sometime, we'll come over to this car. <laughs> sometime tomorrow-ish, or this weekend-ish, we'll come over to this car and we will cut this one out um yeah should be interesting we won't have to be quite as carefuling because you know we we had to save our eyebrow here we're probably just gonna do some cutting and then we might just grind through a lot of these spot welds and grind that metal out we'll see how it goes but uh Golly. Yeah, pretty good evening of work. This was one of the dirty jobs for this car. Um, as you know, that's where our rust is on our good car. And yeah, we'll get the cancer out. This one's in a lot better shape in this area. A lot worse of her shape in all the rest of the areas. So, but yeah, this is officially you now a parts car. It ain't coming back from this. Uh, yeah. All right, we'll get on the other one in the morning. We'll see you then.